I think that the message is that no matter what the world may do to you unfairly, no matter how you're crucified, nailed to the cross at home or in your personal relationships or on the job, that you can rise if you don't lose yourself during the hard times and the challenges. The story of Jesus on the cross, no matter what they... Hey everyone, hope you're having a blessed day and that you had a wonderful Easter. Yeah, I'm not even going to touch that message right there. Uh, I, I have more important things to talk about, such as uh, two new albums that I want to share with you. First off, King's Kaleidoscope released a new album last month by the name of Live in Color, or Living Color. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Man, do I enjoy this group. Yes, I do. From the very beginning, this album just invokes hope and joy. You just can't help but put a smile on your face while you listen to it. One of the things I enjoy is when a song reminds me of a Bible verse that I can meditate on and just remember as I listen to the song. And that's what all of these songs do in this album. One of my favorite songs on the album is Seek the Kingdom because it refers back to Matthew 6.33 which says Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all its righteousness and everything else shall be added unto you. Matthew 6.33 is kind of my verse that I've been meditating on for the past couple of months. As a 20-something, uh, you get caught up in who am I going to marry, what's my job going to be like, uh, where am I going to live. You, know, you just get caught up in the future a lot. As 20-somethings, we, we think about this chapter in our lives and we're like, oh, I can't wait until this chapter is finished, or I wish this chapter of my life could be over so I can get started on the next thing. And the more you keep wishing, the more life just passes you by and you look back and you realize that your life was just a bunch of wishes. And it's kind of been my mindset lately is to just focus on what God has for me now and um, focus on His kingdom, focus on His work. When you focus on what God is concerned about, which is souls and, and leading people to Him and you know, teaching Bible studies, loving people. You know, when, when you take care of what He cares about, He'll take care of you. That's a promise from Him to you. Don't have sales, trucks or bars, but I've got the next album I want to share with you is from John Mark McMillan. He released an album last month called Borderland. I anticipated this album for the longest time and I'm so glad it came out and I'm so glad that it, it's just a, a great album to listen to. The thing I enjoy about John Mark Millen is his writing. This album, it, it's hard to listen to like while you're at work or um, you know while you're busy doing something. You really have to sit down and listen to these words because they're, they're powerful and they're deep and they make you think about your walk with God. If you listen to this album, you hear you know, how much of himself he pours into each of his songs. So John Mark Millen is very different, and there really isn't any other way to describe him except different. I like that he just takes me to a different place. My rabbit's running. Obviously, I'm not a music expert or anything. I just really enjoy listening to music and more than that I enjoy sharing music with you and hoping that your playlist is expanded at the end of this video. I hope that you just give them a listen, try out something new you maybe haven't listened to before. There are some links to see them live. I think they're really cool. You can actually see the entire Live in Color or Live in Color album live. Um, it's a link down below, just go watch it. You'll be amazed, I promise you. Can you just give me some music to listen to? Sometimes I get bored when I'm at work and you know I get bored of my own playlist and uh, you know the, those are the moments where I just think to myself, man, I really wish I had something new to fill my ear holes with. And um, that's where you know you can help me out. Please 